Lucy, I'm sailing Catalpa. We have a rogue boat head straight for us. It doesn't hit us, but it gets the anchor rope wrapped around our anchor, leaving us stuck in Dilly. Plus we pick up our new generator. Today we made a visit to the Timorese Resistant Museum. Timor-Leste is one of the youngest countries in the world and got its independence in 2002. The fighting and the hardship this country and its people have been through is rough and to think this all went down only in the last 20 years. Many Timorese have lost parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers and sisters in the crisis which means it's still very fresh in the memories of many who It was an eye-opener looking through the museum here and imagining the horrid sights that would have filled the streets not so long ago. Meet our new friends, Brian, Joe, Miles and Flynn. These guys sailed here from Darwin aboard their boat Joyous Day nearly a year ago and have been working and living here since. So we piled in the car T. Marie style and headed up the mountains. found ourselves at a waterfall. I know, yeah. it's so different. <laughs> we have a new oh, crap. I lost my wallet in my hand. <laughs> This was the coldest we've felt in quite a while. It's amazing how being a little bit elevated makes such a difference in temperature. We had a fantastic day. Thank you so much guys for taking us out. Yeah. yeah. So it's about 4 o'clock, 4 what's the time? 4 o'clock in the morning and we just tried to pull anchor to go over to Atura, what's it called? Atura Island? Atura. Um, which is just off Dilly, like 20 nautical miles away. It's supposed to have beautiful diving and um, we were pretty excited and we thought we'll pull anchor real early and get over there early and... The full moon for sailing. Yeah, it's perfect. Everything was perfect but our... the only problem was Lee just trying to pull the anchor and the anchor winch has booped itself completely. So, so here's some more drama for everyone. We're now stuck in it, Timor last day. Hey, go on there, Captain. I think she's, uh. So, what's happening here is our anchor winch isn't working anymore. It's not spinning, we don't have any way of pulling our anchor up, and we're in Timor last day. She's an old breed. And the top of our winch doesn't actually have a manual override, so now 60 pound Manson Supreme anchor with 80 something metres of chain out. It's, don't even know if it's possible to lift it. So it's Monday afternoon, and we've, uh, we're going over to pick up our visas from the Indonesian embassy. Hopefully, they're already in other complications, but we got told two o'clock today, so we're going to head over. We've all got our, our long pants and shoes, <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Then Lee's going to pull out the anchor winch part again when he comes back. 
What a fun day, honey. Well, we've got our visas hopefully in an hour or so, but we can't get out of here because we can't pull the anchor. Yeah, we actually are stuck. Stuck in Timor Leste. But, um, so, Shawnee and I got off the boat today on our own and we've come to find what's it called? The Thai market. Oh, Thai. We're at the Thai market, so I'm just going to have a bit of a look around. So, uh, Shawnee's actually going home tomorrow, so it's very sad. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have a look around here. Traditional fabrics are called tays. How sweet is this backrest? There are so many beautiful tays. This one is getting custom made and it will take about six days to complete. It's such a cute vest. If only Taj would still let me dress him. <laughs> oh, Bella, this one's for you. Grandma needs some lessons, Bella. Yeah, right. <laughs> How cute is that? It's so cute. Mm. Check out these beautiful tays that have been hand painted on. Taj will appreciate these. Yes. Yeah, so Sean is getting online. every single bag. This poor woman's getting every bag down that's hanging. Because she can't make her mind up. <laughs> she needs to look at them closely. She, she gets her heart set on this one, then she looks up and then she goes, oh no, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you get this one. I don't know, I probably will, won't I? How bad is that? Hello. Hello. Yeah, just get them all down so she knows. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> That's nice. Nice colour, I like yes. those colours. Yes, uh, it's lighter than that one. Mm. It's the brighter. Oh, that's quite lovely. Oh, it's nice and soft as well. Yeah. Big one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. I feel no terrible. Here, oh. I'm gonna move. No problem, no problem. I'm sorry. No <laughs> I'm just trying to film this. <laughs> Can you kill it? I'm distracted. Oh, That's amazing all that yeah. fabric. Yeah. Oh, it's so soft. The red ones. Mm. Mm. They're beautiful. Mm. Oh. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness, I felt so bad. <laughs> so she went with this one. <laughs> nice big one. It took how long? Oh, uh, <laughs> a little while. But we, I mean, you, you made a decision, so that was good. Um, but we're done. Markets are beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, there's so many cool little things here. Thank you. All right. We walk back to Catalpa to drop off Mummy to have her nana nap, while we have the afternoon with Mayra. You might remember Mayra from an episode when we were at Rote in November last year. Her and her family sailed over to Indonesia around the same time as we did. Well, she also works in Timor Leste and happened to be in Dili for a day and picked us up to take us to see an art school here in Dili. Timor Leste and we're with our friend Mayra. <laughs> <laughs> so from Red Dragonfly. Um, you guys would have met her in where we were. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she's going to show us where at. Where, uh, where are we today? We're at Artie Morris, which is a free art school in Dili. Very exciting. So we'll show you guys around. Yeah, we have a look around. Pieces. Creepy, isn't it? Line of like traditional law. So if there's an animal skull in a tree or on a stick, it will usually mean something like there's there's some sort of law about that place, like it's sacred. 
um, if you, for example, if you cut down that tree, yeah. it might be a sacred tree, and so then there'll be some sort of impact on your family or on your health. So it's like a warning, you know, be mm -hmm. careful here, this, this yeah. place is sacred. Yeah. 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 I see that. I wouldn't touch anything that was skulls on. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty clear sign, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it makes you be aware. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like the jaws, just the jaw with the teeth. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know if I can go on. These are these grow the man mangrove roots. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, these are mango fruits. They they collect them. They're oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the penguin. The dolphin. <laughs> This is Jenny and he has been living here at Artemores since 2003. Um, Artemores is a free art school, it's a non-profit art school. Mm -hmm. we, is, we found it uh, by from uh, Luca and then he's, he's, he's left. And then he gives he, he give you the opportunity for the Timorese Yen to, to develop the, about the art in Timor. And, and now we have some more uh, more some painting in upstairs and downstairs and here and here is the uh, studio number one upstairs is the baby bullock and studio number three and then we have the gallery a private collection for the private collection is for the donation art from the school and upstairs we have the, the selling the art and downstairs we have the installation from Last year, or last year, we have the Art and uh, exhibition. So we put up for this building. Mm -hmm. What kind of art do you like to do? Uh, I, I learn uh, many things about the art. It's not only for painting, yeah. but maybe you can make uh, installations, sculpture, watercolor, mm -hmm. and carving, mm -hmm. woodcut, yeah. learning everything. Everything? <laughs> yeah. You like it all? Then he asked to the government and give this building for us. And then until now we still stay here. Mm. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so how often do you do your art? Every day? Oh yes, every day. Yeah. Sometimes I uh, feel make like make painting and then maybe I have to read some good art books mm -hmm. and make carving or make a frame. Mm -hmm. So other art is like uh, a community for the Timorese artists. And we stay together here. And the make art, we have the uh, uh, music room, mm -hmm. and we have the uh, dramatic arts, and the upstairs. So we, we don't we don't this is place for 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 the young communities about they have the talent about the art. Uh, we have a, we have a school. We have the uh, art classes for the kids. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know in art or in Timor we didn't have a, uh, arts education. Jenny is also in a program that he gets to work in the hospitality in Australia for a few months of the year. So if you see Jenny in Broome, WA, in Australia, make sure you go and say hi. Yeah, yeah how's it going? And that's why your English is so good? Uh, it's not perfect. Yeah, but it's good. <laughs> but I tried, I yeah. tried my best. Yeah, you well. Uh, this is uh, the Artemoris uh, private collection. Okay. Sometimes we always painting on the canvas, mm -hmm. so we have to change how to paint on the tiles. Mm -hmm. We bought some, we bought some like uh, tiles on the market, mm -hmm. like tiles market. Yeah. But the old one, but not the new one, but the old one, and yeah. then we we paint. We paint yeah. yeah, we went. I was at the Thai market this morning, and I saw paintings on them. Uh, look again, so it's the look again, it's the here. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's here. Ah, yeah. He, he do this. Really? Yeah, he's very good. <laughs> he loves art. Uh, yeah. <laughs> continue, continue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, do you have funding? Uh, uh, Artemolis is, is, is 
non profit mm -hmm. uh, education. So we have painting, we sell the painting, the pen is the painting. Upstairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the we sell the painting yeah. and the money. Uh, in the office, you have to sign this 100 person. And the, after you sell the painting, like, then you sell the painting. And then 40 person or 60 person to the artist. And then 40 person to the school. Not to buy so supply and things. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Buy paper, buy a pencil, buy everything. Yeah. <laughs> Art supply, buy some food, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because you say like community. The support, yeah. 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 The support, our, yeah. running our mm -hmm. activity. Yeah. Yeah. Luca, Luca is from Switzerland. Gabby is from Germany. Exactly. And how many years did they live here? Yeah, nearly 10 years, yeah. yeah. And they helped establish this community. And they were the original like teachers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The like, Transformers, yeah. yeah. The Transformers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> lot of violence in Dili and yeah. um, this whole area became a um, not a refugee camp they call it IDP camp in internally displaced persons camp so this whole area was just full of like UNHCR tents and yeah. I don't like know how many people yeah yeah well there was particular camps set up in different places around Dili yeah for people to come and live mm, I was evacuated yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's when I was working at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at that yeah. government palace building. Yeah. yeah, so all the peacekeepers had left uh, and the responsibility for security had been handed over to the National Army and the police. And then there was a crisis and so the UN peacekeepers came back again. Yeah, so I think it was like two years that had a, a, a like an internally displaced persons camp here. Yeah. So it's a long time. Yeah. 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 These spiders are made from coconuts and this whole next exhibition is made entirely from recycling rubbish collected here in Dili. Okay, so the kids who come to do the course mm -hmm. here are 10 years old okay. and up. Yeah. So sort of 10 to 15? Yeah. 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 10 to 15, and they study for about six months. Yeah, six months. And then they get a certificate. Um, okay. It's free. Okay. And how many kids? Like 10 or 30? No, 40. 40? 40. Okay. Yeah, 40. Sometimes it's 50. Yeah. yeah, and boys and girls? Boys and girls. So, so maybe half? Yeah, half. Half girls, yeah, half, half girls. boys. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, because it's not, you know, there's not really other opportunities. Rubbish is collected from the beaches and brought here for the artists to make art out of. 
What a fantastic way to help reduce the amount of rubbish in our oceans. Really cool what you guys do here. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny, for showing us around. You guys have a great thing going here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We had a fab afternoon with Maisie and can't wait to catch up again in Indonesia when you're back aboard Red Dragonfly. Thank you heaps for today. <laughs> but we need another batch of popcorn. We're just going through it too quickly, eh? What are we watching tonight, guys? Fool's Gold. Oh, I don't know if I've seen it or not. Oh, oh no. it's Sean's last night tonight. Yeah. Very Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you all. Love you. We're going to miss you. <laughs> Don't start on fire, really. <laughs> Put the movie on. <laughs> So join us next time when we say goodbye to Grandma Shawnee. We talk to a legend that wants to help us with the windless and we face reality. We don't know what the future holds. We've, we've literally run out of money. So there's a really high chance. Thank you all so much for watching. That was episode 92 and we hope you enjoyed it. It all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all